In a surprise move today, the U.S. government says it will take a closer look at cryptocurrencies. President Biden signed an executive order calling on the Treasury Department to assess the risks and benefits of making its own digital currency. The use of cryptocurrencies is gaining popularity, but one that has been shunned by the U.S. government until now. The White House reports 16 percent of people in the U.S. have invested in, traded or used cryptocurrencies. The executive order also directs the Department of Commerce to look at developing, designing and implementing crypto systems. Pfizer is taking a closer look at how well its COVID-19 pill works in children. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell spoke to doctors about what this potential treatment could mean for families. Today, Pfizer announced it started a phase 2-3 study of its COVID pill treatment in children. The study will evaluate the safety and effectiveness of its drug Paxlovid in non-hospitalized symptomatic children with a confirmed COVID diagnosis who are at risk of severe disease. This is just another thing in the toolkit. The study will look at kids 6 to 17. Currently, the drug is authorized in both high-risk adults and high-risk children, 12 and up, weighing at least 88 pounds. Pfizer explains while other trials didn't include people under 18, the FDA authorized the drug in certain pediatric patients. The drug has been proven to be incredibly successful at preventing hospitalization and deaths in high, uh, high-risk individuals. The company shared that data from high-risk adults with COVID showed the drug reduced the risk of hospitalization or death by 89% within three days and 88% within five days of when symptoms start. I spoke to USF Health's Dr. Jill Roberts, who says this drug has been a game changer. It is only recommended for those individuals who are at high risk of severe cases, hospitalization and death. And so this isn't something we would want to give to just everyone. It is not an alternative to the vaccine. And Roberts explains what access to treatment like this could mean for families. So to be able to tell someone, you know what, you can just stay home. You can take this pill. This is significant savings and a significant difference in access to care. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.